Hey everybody, this is Paul and today I'm going to show you how to tip your dragon fruit here when it's top in the trellis here. You don't want it to grow straight up. Uh, sometimes you can train them to bend over, but in this case it just wants to go straight up and so I would like to uh, promote some more growth coming out to form a, an umbrella. So I want lots of shoots going in different directions. So what I'm going to do, is I have clean shears, I clean them. And I'm going to want to go up a few inches up, and in this case, I'm going to go right about here. It's a nice cut, just like that. And then you're going to want to bag it. So just bag it up to help it heal over and callus quickly. And it will help also prevent the rain that's coming here from making it rot. So definitely want to bag it. Uh, you can also, uh, I mean, I'm just going to leave it just like that. That's going to be fine, and it should be good in a few days. So, um, also you can salvage this if you want by turning it from into a, uh, a stem cut. So, flesh to stem. So, what you want to do is just try to save this little, get to this layer here. Just like so. And you can save this and turn it into a cutting. Just let it dry in the shade for a few days until it's fully calloused over. And it's as easy as that. Um, you could probably remove a little bit more. This is Maria Rosa here. But I think that's just about good. We can probably remove a bit more of this. I'm not going to bore you with it. Anyways, I will now have a, another piece of Maria Rosa here. So I waited just until it was, I believed, long enough to have a nice viable cutting. So now that I've done this, um, you can see that, sorry, um, you can see that now that's just plenty high enough to where these little, all these little spines here should, it should promote, since I've cut the energy up, it's going to want to shoot it out. So I predict maybe two to five new little shoots, buds here, that will go different directions um, as the plant grows. So little nice new shoots coming out. So I uh, leave the plastic bag on, I would say about two weeks, or 10 days to two weeks. But you could kind of just look and see if it's all dried up up here and then it's pretty safe to take off. Uh, if it is gonna rain, like it is gonna rain the next four or five days here, so this is definitely gonna come in handy to keep this plant from rotting. Now you don't have to do this cut. Um, you can see as some I approach the height, I may I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll leave some of them. Um, in this case, this one kinda has some interesting growth there, so I'm gonna leave that for sure. But you can also, um, over here at our yellow pelora, you can see, you can also tie it down and train it this way. So this yellow pelora here, I've trained and now I've pulled it tight and now it's kind of just coming over. It's still, I may tip this, but um, I think I'm gonna leave it alone because if you notice, it's got, even though in the middle of winter here in Southern California, there is a new little growth right there. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's definitely some little growth right there occurring. So, new shoot, hopefully. So anyways, there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. That is how you keep your dragon fruit happy and to create that nice, cool umbrella look. Here's another angle. Just want to show you really quick. There it is. So, I'm excited for this to canopy out and branch out. And I look forward to having some Pelora fruit in the future. All right, take care. Dude, it's creepy.